One of the biggest questions I receive is how much alcohol exactly is in kombucha? And it is a loaded question because there are so many different factors that determine that amount. Okay, so namely, um, how much sugar you begin with, how much sugar you end with, how much um, the um, temperature is, meaning like how high the brewing consistency is, how long you let your kombucha tea ferment for, and when you go to bottle your kombucha tea, what the temperature is of that as well. All right, so those are just a few factors. Um, generally, following the basic kombucha recipe that we have on our site, you're looking at, if you're a home brewer, you're looking at around 0 0.05 to 1% alcohol content. What does that mean? Well, a beer is usually um, anywhere from 3.5 to 6%. And so at, at the high levels, kombucha, let's say, is 1% if you're home brewing. Um, so it's about a quarter to a fifth of a beer. So drinking a 12-ounce bottle of kombucha is like drinking, you know, two to three ounces of beer. Okay, so does that mean that all kombucha has that amount of alcohol? No, there are certain specific te techniques that you could do to increase that level of alcohol. Here's the thing though, guys, you need to pretty much go out of your way to do that. Now, in some situations, it's preferable. I know for myself, I've experimented, it's kind of cool to have a, at a party kombucha wine, right? Um, it's a nice alternative uh, to incorporate kombucha with other spirits to create a kombucha rita, which we also have as a video and, and resources as recipes. But in terms of the general alcohol content of kombucha, you're looking at 0.05 to 1%. I know there was some controversy um, regarding um, kombucha being pulled off of shelves and big chain retail stores, uh, grocery stores like Whole Foods and such, and that was more of a labeling issue, um, meaning that um, there's certain requirements if you're selling something in a retail food setting that if it reaches, I believe it's anything, though it might vary from state to state, anything over 0.05% has to be labeled alcohol. When you label something alcohol, you gotta pay an alcohol tax. So that was more of um, a labeling issue. Uh, just to keep things in mind, if you took fresh squeezed orange juice and let that sit out for a few hours, you're also looking at an alcohol content around 0.03 to 0.68, you know, 0 0.08 percent. Uh, so all fermented foods have alcohol in it to some degree. Kombucha mainly gets converted though, if you're following a basic recipe, the, the alcohol continues to get transferred into uh, acetic acid. So the preservative effect is more of a vinegar preservation than an alcoholic preservation. So why do you feel so good? Well, how do you feel after you do yoga? How do you feel after you go for a walk? How do you feel after you get a good night's sleep? Right, so when we're doing something good for our body, we feel good. Um, so that drunkenness is really just a sign of feeling good. To get even more free kombucha videos to take your kombucha brewing to the next level, check out getkombucha.com backslash free.